My grandma lived with Alzheimer's for over 10 years. Alzheimer's takes away a person piece by piece and that's how we watched or we lost, we lost Arlie. It was little things there you didn't know it was the last time that you were seeing that part. You didn't know it was the last time that she was going to say your name out loud. You didn't know it was the last time she was going to walk in and say, how are you doing? And you would say, good. She'd say, how good? You'd say, so good. <laughs> You never know, right? You never know when it's the last time. So, um, Audrey and my mother-in-law, Arlie, had a very special relationship um, that was not anything that I've, I've seen. It was, uh, it was really great because we could walk into a room and, you know, initially when the, the disease was taking over, she would not know who I was, but she would focus in on Audrey and just light up and she'd kind of reach for her and grab her hands and as words and things started to fail her, she um, still had that connection. It was amazing that, and even um, when it wasn't the face recognition, I feel like you could kind of tell that that was starting to go away, but if anybody said, Audrey's here to see you. She would just light up and then look for her and and you would watch her body just kind of melt. Like she just was at ease and at peace with you. It was very, very sweet and, and beautiful. And I don't know that I've, I've witnessed that before between any two human beings. It was really an awesome connection, especially to have with your grandmother, right? Like, it doesn't happen all the time. <laughs>